Hello everyone, Mr. Hendo here. Today was a good day and then I got my Ford Explorer engine moved into the garage so I can work on it. Um, that was the good part. However, the bad part is that my Harbor Freight two-ton jack decided it didn't want to work anymore. So uh, what it's doing is every time I try to pump it, first of all, it's going super slow. And then second of all, it only goes up to a certain height and it won't go up anymore. So what I'm thinking is that uh, I'm going to uh, add some hydraulic oil to it. So I went to the local Napa and I got this uh, Napa brand hydraulic jack oil. And uh, there's a little port on the side of the jack itself right here. And I'm going to remove the plug and I'm going to fill it up and see if that fixes it. So hopefully my uh, $150 engine hoist will be fixed. Uh, I actually got this for free because Napa does this thing where if you spend money there, you eventually get coupons or money off. And um, when I went to pay for it, it was, I think it was like six bucks when I went to pay for it. They said, oh, you have a $5 uh, coupon or whatever. So they gave it to me for free. So that's pretty sweet considering map was kind of expensive anyways, but uh, where I live, I don't have a lot of choices. So um, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to fill, again, fill the jack up with this jack oil and then see if uh, that fixes it. So let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the control rod thing and I'm going to uh, loosen the jack to release the pressure uh, so that way the actual arm sits at the at the, its lowest spot. So let's do that. So I'm going to turn this counterclockwise slowly. Okay, there it is, pretty low. Uh, hopefully I have enough room in here to get to that. This is the this is the plug I was talking about here. Got a wrench. There you have it, a little plug. Now there's a hole in there. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to pump this stuff in there. What I've decided to use is these little uh, containers that I have. And uh, I'm going to put the hydraulic jack oil inside here, and then I'm going to uh, squeeze it in, squeeze it into the to the port. So uh, wish me luck, and hopefully that works. I was spilling a bunch, so I decided to get some gloves on. I don't know how toxic this stuff is or if it's a carcinogen. So we're filled up. See how many of this it takes. I'm gonna have to actually lift the arm a little bit, so hopefully you can see this. Uh, actually, I don't really. And I'm just going to squeeze this in until uh, it starts overflowing. My heater just turned on. Alright, that's it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put the plug back in because it's flowing out. It's full. Shoot, hopefully I'm going to put this plug back in. Okay, there you have it. I used a mallet and an offset screwdriver. You can use any screwdriver. This is just the one I could find because I can never find them whenever I need them. And um, yeah, good luck.
But hooray, it's back on there. I'm gonna open the garage and we're gonna try to raise this thing. All right, let's see what she do. Okay, so don't forget to tighten the bleed screw first. Man, it's tight. Now, looky there, looky there. Okay, there's your fix for the Harbor Freight engine hoist, or any hoist for that matter, that has a jack or a bottle jack. For some reason, it was low on hydraulic oil, and I just had to add it, remove the plug, add it, put the plug back in, and uh, works good. Like I said before, what it was doing was it was uh, raising about halfway up, and then it was stopping. And uh, anytime I uh, put weight on it, it was going down a little bit. So uh, again, all you need to do is go get you a little bottle of hydraulic jack oil and fill her up. The hardest part, to be honest, was putting that little rubber plug back in. And like I said, uh, using a flathead screwdriver helps tremendously. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on notifications, and leave me any comments with questions, and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.